Hi, this is Johnny at DNA Painter with some tips for keeping track of your genetic family tree. We're going to be using a feature called Ancestral Trees at the DNA Painter website. And if you'd like to learn more about this, you can visit the DNA Painter booth in the Expo Hall. So what is a genetic ancestor? Well, we know what an ancestor is, right? It's someone who came before us in our tree, one of our direct forebears. A genetic ancestor is someone who is not only an ancestor, but is also someone where you've been able to verify that you definitely seem to have inherited DNA from them. Now, slightly counterintuitively, this doesn't actually include all of your direct ancestors. Due to the randomness of recombination, certain ancestors will actually have left no traces in your DNA at all. They are, of course, still your ancestors, but due to this genetic chance, you just don't happen to have inherited any DNA from them. So how do you identify genetic ancestors? Well, it's as simple as whenever you have one of those eureka moments, yes, I know who this DNA match is, I can figure out what connects us. You then have to go up to the common ancestors for that DNA match. And at this point, you can infer with some confidence that you did inherit DNA from those people. It is, of course, possible that the DNA you share with that person is from another relationship, but it seems likely that it's down to the relationship that you know about, particularly if it's a reasonably close match. Identifying and verifying genetic ancestors is an ongoing process, and you can track this at DNA Painter. If you hover over any node in the tree view, you will see a button that says Mark as a Genetic Ancestor. And once you've marked some people in your tree as genetic ancestors, you can go up to the DNA filters menu and you can click on show genetic ancestors. And here we can see just the subset of my tree that I've highlighted showing up. The rest of my fan chart is kind of paled out. But we can see that because I marked my grandfather as a genetic ancestor, my father has also been marked because he, of course, comes in between me and my grandfather. And this is what genetic ancestors look like in tree view. And if you make a mistake, you can very easily hover and unmark someone as a genetic ancestor. And you can also access the mark as a genetic ancestor checkbox within the edit form. So having worked your way across your DNA matches, you might end up with a pleasant picture like this, showing corroboration, if you like, for all those hard hours of research that you've put into your tree. And as always, if you hover over someone in the fan chart, you can see the path to you and their status. I hope that helps. Thank you.